This is lesson one of the Metinformatics tutorial. We're going to talk about how to log in and sort of navigate through the main screens that you have available to you. You'll notice that there's a column of buttons here on the left side. Really you're only going to use about four of these and we're going to go over what each one of them takes you to and what it's good for. My default view is the appointment list view, which is what you'd get by push, pushing the top or clicking the top left hand button. It shows you who you have who has an appointment with you for that day, and you can change the day to the future or the past with these buttons here, or you can bring up the calendar and select a date. I didn't see any patients today in the clinic, so there's nobody here. If I saw several yesterday, so I can go back to yesterday, click refresh, and you can see that I saw six patients. They're in green because they have come and gone. You can see here that people who aren't here yet, like the people who are supposed to see me next Monday, are listed in black. When they show up at the front desk of the Red Suite, they'll get tagged by the receptionist and she'll uh, enter that into the computer and then they'll show up in red on this list. When one of the nurses brings them back, they will uh, put that in the computer and then they'll show up in blue on this list. Notice you can bring your drop down here and only show morning patients or afternoon patients or you can show everybody for the day. Notice also that over here on the right you have a counter that shows you how many patients are in this list. If you want to change the book to somebody else's book, you click this button. You choose the suite or uh, section of the uh, clinic that they are in. You find their name and you can double click them or just think select them and then click the select button and it'll bring up their schedule. Also while you're here notice that each resident or physician has a uh, code. Mine is R-O-D-N and that's going to be useful here in a second. If you click on setup and startup settings you can set up metaformatics so that every time you log in it'll show you your appointment list as opposed to somebody else's and that RODN that I was talking about is important because you gotta enter it here to tell it your book name it's not just your name it's some sort of a code that's usually derived from your name you'll also need to make sure these three fields are your actual suite and then you check the appropriate checkbox that you want to be brought up each time that you log in. Again for me I like seeing the appointment list view. The next button that you'll be using on the left will take you to the message section. It's the message button and when you want to check your messages which they recommend that you do at least once a day you'll click here and uh, I'll show you your list of messages and we'll go in to a little bit more detail later on how to check your messages, what some typical message messages will say, and how to handle them. The next button is the patient list. Let me show you that one more time right here below the messages and that's just what you use to look up a patient by their name and it also will allow you to select date of birth or account number, really the only one that you'll ever use probably besides their name is their date of birth. So it's last name, comma, first name, and it'll allow you to look up a patient by their name. The last button that uh, represents a major portion of uh, section of metaformatics that you're going to use as a resident is the room view, and it brings up the view of uh, each of the rooms in whatever clinic that you're in. You can change that here and if there were any patients in rooms their names would be in these uh, recessed uh, fields here. If there were a patient in this room 6 here I could open that patient's chart by clicking the button on room 6. I could also tell something about the status of that patient by either looking here in this blank space which would if there were a patient in the room have an icon there or looking down in this white space which will also be a list of all the patients in the room sorted by first come first serve. That way if you have more than one patient in a room you know who to see first. Now back to this icon here. If a patient is waiting to be seen 
excuse me, if they're being brought back by the nurse and having vital signs collected and they're not ready to be seen yet, the icon will look like this, the nurse's hat. When she gets finished and she's ready for you to see the patient, she'll go into her computer and she'll click that icon next to the uh, room six button uh, one time and it will change to a green light and that will be your message that the patient is ready to be seen by you and so if you get to this screen and you see a patient that is yours and they have a green light by them that means they're just waiting for you to go in and see them how do you know they're yours well their name will be here and also your little code which in my place in my case would be RODN and when I see the patient if I need to when I come out of the room if I need the nurse to come in behind me and do something whether it's give them a shot or put on a bandage or something like that I can click the green light icon and it will change to this nurse's hat with a vial and that will be the message back to her that she needs to come in and do whatever it is that I've ordered once it looks like that if you click it one more time it moves the patient out of the room completely that's about it for just navigating the major uh, sections of metainformatics. We're going to go into more detail about how to achieve uh, some other things in this computer system in future tutorials. Thanks for your time. Hi, this lesson of the metainformatics uh, tutorial is going to go over some of these uh, trees here that are on the left side of the patient's chart, uh, which ones are useful, which ones you're probably not going to use, and kind of how to use uh, each particular one. You'll see uh, the top four uh, are for creating notes, uh, adult, pediatrics, OBGYN, and sports medicine. Uh, those are the ones you're going to click on if, you're, if you need to actually generate a note uh, for a patient encounter. Everything below that on this main tree uh, is going to do something different besides uh, creating a note. Um, the After the note generating uh, fields you have a office visit common script note I have no idea what that does nursing you won't ever click on work school excuse you will click on it's the there's a couple different ways to do an excuse uh, for somebody in med informatics this is the best way if all you really need to do is just say that they were here today you click on it and everything automatically is there for you your name their name says that they were under your care today usually you just have to click print and you print this out now you can go in here and uh, put your cursor in there and uh, type in whatever you want to in addition to that uh, like no heavy lifting for two weeks and then you can print it out and it'll show that up now if if there's something that you want to document for the patients in the patient's chart that you actually put that in there like if they're if you're afraid their boss might call and say well, you know he was claiming that he's not supposed to do heavy lifting for two weeks and they want proof well if you'll save click save to chart then your nurse won't have to call you to find out if you actually put that on their excuse or if they altered it or whatever um, you'd save it and as part of their documents I don't routinely save every excuse to their documents because it clutters up their document list really the document list is mostly just for notes um, uh, prior patient visit notes. Um, the EKG interface recently we switched to an electronic EKG interface. Used to we got the just plain old printouts. Now you'll click on it uh, here to actually view an EKG. And if this patient had any EKGs here, they would show up here, and you double click it to look at the actual EKG. Um, if they have an EKG that was taken prior to 2008 it'll be in the result viewer and the uh, details of the result viewer are covered in a different uh, lesson. Uh, you can click the ordering program from this tree uh, to actually order things on the patient whether it be labs or nursing uh, things or referrals or whatever you might order. Um, usually the ordering program is pretty handy throughout the, uh, the tree system. Um, office test flow sheets I've never used, attending, attending summary I've never used, health maintenance records some people use. You can go in here and uh, enter the the date that they've had several things done. Um, the bad part about this is that it won't let you enter general dates like if the patient says I had a colonoscopy done sometime last year well you can't put in sometime last year it's going to make you put in an actual date uh, so keep that in mind uh, but this is helpful and when you, if you click on it it actually shows the stuff in your notes so if you're doing an adult physical exam that's pretty helpful. Clinical tools I think brings up some uh, uh, reference stuff to help you figure out what to do with the patient but I've never used it from one side here I always just go to uptodate.com and and look up what I need to know there but it's probably pretty useful 
drug information I've never used from in here, patient education and practice guidelines I've never used from in here. I'm not saying they're not worth using. I just can't comment on how 